Hello? This is James Bartman, and welcome to my Tom and Jerry the Movie Commentary. This is uh, dedicated to Charlotte Ray, who is the voice of the villain, whom I'm not going to mention in this particular film. We'll get to her. There it is. Tom and Jerry the Movie. Anyway. Retro Kind. Oh, by the way, did you know this was Diana Hill's last film for her passing? I just wanted to point that out. Yeah. Tony Chang. Enter gets in. We'll get... Oh, in case you're wondering, Tony J, who was the voice of Frollo, was also the voice of um, Frollo in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <sighs> anyway. You know, I actually used to watch this in school as a kid. Of course, I... Of course, uh, that was years ago. <laughs> and... Oh, um... Okay, this is just the opening credits, okay? And there's something very, something you should know that separates this film from all Tom and Jerry shorts and films in general. You'll see in a few minutes, but I don't want to give too much away. Wow. Anyway, high rise luxury apartments. See, this is why we have. Wow. Thomas, he's like a child that won't wake up. Or, or, I mean, a child that won't go to school. And there's Jerry. Okay. So basically, you're taking a cat. And a mouse. Hey, you know what? Jerry's antics. I'm surprised uh, that no one ever caught me diseases. Maybe he could wash his hands. Maybe he doesn't have fleas. Oh, what? Oh, who am I kidding? It's a, it's a cartoon. But uh, Jay, cut in. Now I see. Oh, ow. Okay, how do you do that? Never mind. <sighs> wow. <laughs> this never gets old. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. Like that's gonna. <sighs> Let the cat in the hind. Sure. Absolutely reckless. Uh oh, bulldog. Going on that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. <sighs> oh, here it comes. Now they're chasing it, tower. <sighs> oh, oh, great. The ball is going to try to get in. Yeah, right. Like, that's gonna work. Great. Oh. He's like, they can't get out. The bulldog. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Uh, 
Okay. <sighs> okay. You're spending the night. Okay. Hey, how much fish is there in the fridge? You know, in a show called Life After People, these two wouldn't stand a chance. Well, except they're highly evolved, so. That's different. Anyway, next morning. Uh. Uh oh. It's like. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wrecking ball. See, I think we should do this to abandoned buildings. And abandoned buildings alone. Because, well, we need to make way for trees to grow because we don't want our planet to get be in any more trouble than it already is. And this is the best way you can think of to go about it. He's unlocking. It's like. He's like, wait a minute. Jerry's in there. He's like, uh oh. Whoa. It's okay. Tap climb trees, you know. That's right. Well, I guess that house is condemned. Well, couldn't have been worse. I could have been inside it. They're like, now they have to live on the street again? Anyway. Good. You know, their silence kind of reminds me of Fantasia in some ways, except... Uh, they're like, get out of here. It's like, me? The cat apparently doesn't want the mouse following him very much. Oh. Okay, so Jerry's cunning. Oh. And that's why we have Bill and just dang. Oh, so Hannah Barbera went in and just Nardera, right? That's an homage to the animators. Oh, he thinks this is funny? Oh, like, I'm not amused. He's like, get out of here. Scran. Oh, great. Okay, I forget what those machines are, but I think Tom doesn't find that very funny. I'm considering how cats don't normally like water. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, well, some cats. I don't blame him. But then again, that's a stereotype. And okay, this is where you're going to see a, a rule broken about Tom Jerry's uh, in general. <sighs> Brace yourself. <sighs> hey, that's Ed Gilbert. 